let's take some minutes to understand how we can target um, pages with specific URL rules. So perhaps for most scenarios where you'll be um, setting up an experiment on a specific landing page, you can just provide the static URL for that landing page as we've done right here, confirm URL, and you're good to go. But in many scenarios, the rules you need to set are a bit more complex. For instance, you might have um, an e-commerce store and you want to A-B test all of your product pages. So you need to come up with a rule that, would, that will apply the um, experiment in all of your product pages, regardless of whether it's a blue t-shirt or whether it's a green t-shirt, right? You're, you are going to want to treat all of the URLs that have this same structure um, as part of the experiment. In these scenarios, we provide what we call advanced URL rules. So you might say all URLs that contain the string forward slash product forward slash, I want them to be included in my experiment. And with this rule right here, we're good to go. Another example where you might use advanced URL rules is um, in, the example of, in the scenario of a landing page, um, for instance, where you want to target users that come with specific URL parameters in their URL, perhaps users stemming from a pay-per-click campaign. So you might say, I want to target all pages that their, where their path exactly matches a forward slash home pages. This is my home page, right? I'm at the base level of my website. The path for this is an empty forward slash because I'm not nested inside, say, sign in. I'm at the root level. So I'm going to set an, up an experiment for this page. So for that, I'll say exact match for the path only portion of the URL is going to be a forward slash. And I want my query parameters to contain UTM source Reddit. This allows me to set up an A-B test specifically for Reddit. Or you could use this criteria the opposite way. You could exclude people with certain UTM parameters. So let's say I don't want any of my um, Reddit visitors seeing this experiment. So for this, I'll say query parameters containing UTM source Reddit are excluded. This is just um, the main, these are the main use cases in which you want to use advanced URL rules.